World Heritage list of the Convention concerning the protection of the world culture and natural heritage during the that film session of the Welcome to Fort Jesus, guys. This is the famous Fort Jesus. Okay? Yeah, guys, we are Let's here go. at Fort Jesus, man. Enjoying ourselves. Huge connect. Yeah, huge connect here. Connecting, connecting. Connecting. Yeah. Sam. Same your travel and history. Okay, yes. so Sam is our tour guide, acting tour guide today. But if you wanna, okay. if you want his services, guys, Hit me up. Yeah, IG on his you Instagram. Can, you can uh, write a comment on my YouTube video. Okay, yes. so I'll tag both of them on the video. So let's all move. <laughs> <laughs> So before we go, uh, we want to give uh, the audience uh, a little history or a, a little information before we go uh -huh. into the Fort Jesus. Yeah. This Fort Jesus was constructed in 1593 to 1596 uh, uh, by the Portuguese. Uh -huh. and, uh, and the Captain Philip is the one who commanded the construction of Fort Jesus. Uh -huh. And it was constructed in the form of a human being okay and you're going to see that uh, manuscript inside there mm. and it was constructed uh, to protect the old town of Mombasa where that's where we are coming from the old town is inside there whereby the ships could come and dock to take uh, goods slaves and so on and so on so okay so uh, first of all before you go inside here there is an anchor and this is the Vasco da Gama Anchorage. This is an anchorage? Yeah, this is an anchorage. Used by the ship of Vasco da Gama? Vasco da Gama. Wow. When he was coming to explore, uh, he was looking for the sea route to India. Construction of this uh, Very serious. And the people who constructed this port, the Portuguese, they used the local material, that is lime and coral logs. Wow. Yeah. Coral logs, you can find them deep down there. Lime and coral rocks. Color uh, here, coral rocks. And it, it is stand on a tier of front, including the outside per perimeter. Oh, the outside perimeter. The fort, which is located in Mombasa city on the coast of Kenya, was designed by an Italian architect, Giovanni. Kairati, and it was built by the Portuguese in the years 1593 to 1596 to protect the port of Mombasa. Fort Jesus is one of the most outstanding and well-preserved examples of 16th Portuguese military fortification and a landmark in the history of this type of construction. Fort Jesus bears testimony to the first successful attempt by Western civilization to rule the Indian Ocean trade routes, which until then had remained under Eastern influence. The design of the fort, which is its proportions, its imposing walls and the five bastions, reflects the military architectural theory of the Renaissance. These are the charges you are expected to pay as a Kenyan citizen, an East African resident, or a non-resident. We can go. This is how you get in. These are our tickets. So they need to be stamped, huh? So guys, you can see all those. There's so many. There's oh here too. So these are you. These ones are Portuguese cannons. Uh. These ones are British cannons. Oh, Portuguese cannons, so no, British. Outside. Now this is the compound, compound for the courtyard. Oh, yeah. Let's start from this side, as Sam, our tour guide, says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trust, trust. 
Yeah. So now these ones, this one, ex this one explains the whole, each and every building in this compound. Oh. So we have the captain house. Which is these ones are all captain houses. This is where the captains were staying. Uh -huh. You can see from Matias, Matias, Alberto. So, you can see. so the, all these are labeled from one to, to number 17. 17. And whatever we are going to be seeing here in this museum. Yeah. I go down. So, we are going down. So we are going to the passage of the arches. Mm -hmm. We are going to the passage of the arches. 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 The passage of the arches. This was uh, constructed by the Omans. Oman Arabs. Yeah, you can see. Passage because of that arch. That yes. Called by passage of the arches. Mm -hmm. And uh, these ones, these are coral rocks. And, uh, yeah, definitely. These, uh, they used of... Uh, 400 people to construct this with the uh, for real because this one they have to bring this from the ocean yeah, from oh the ocean. yeah this is rocks from I the ocean they, they were carved they just carved this from a rock yeah it was carved from a rock which is an 82 an ocean rock years to carve the whole of this structure oh. yeah and it took 400 people to carve this okay using only the chisel okay. and the hammer okay yes. well that was hard work ah. You can imagine the whole of this structure taking over 400 people mm. with chisel and hammer to cover this. This is so nice. Passage of the arches. So after we pass the passage of the arches, we are going to the store whereby they use the people who are covering this place. They used mm. to store there. Equipment. Equipment. The slaves were being brought in and out. And out. Oh, slaves used to yeah, pass their it's super. oh my god. So, let's now it has been uh, built so that no one or anybody can access the place, but mm -hmm. they have maintained the originality of the place. And this is a very tall wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible, yeah. <laughs> so this one is the storage room. Storage room. Yeah, this is where the builders used to put their equipment. That is chisel, hammer, mm. whatever they were using to carve this stuff. You can see here. This is like a cave. Yeah, this one was the storage. Ammunition. Ammunition storage. So they used to put this side was the where they used to put like chisel hammer. Mm -hmm. and now this side was the ammunition room. Even if you see it's very small, but they used to stock the ammunition here. Guns. Yeah, guns. Cannon balls. Cannon balls. And maybe those uh, cannons themselves. Mm. Yeah. How strong is this structure? It's very strong. Very this strong. is str stone, bra. What if it collapses on us? It can't. <laughs> What are you trying to mean? <laughs> <laughs> if it stayed for all these years. Imagine 427. What? Doesn't look bad. Remember I told you this place is uh, constructed in the form of a human being. Mm. So now this is the right hand. Oh. So this is the right hand. Mm. The left hand is on the other side. Then where we are heading to, it's the head. This is the left hand? Yeah, this side is the left hand, but I'm going to show you where it is. So this is the left hand of... We have a very nice court down there. I know you guys can see it. These ones are the watchtowers. If you go inside, yeah, you can go inside. This is a watchtower, guys. Yeah, and see the watchtower. You can be able to see 
Oh you my god. For uh, mm. four openings. Mm. Oh, it's just this short. Yeah, so yeah, that is the watch dog guy. Openings to see enemies from all directions. So this is how they used to see enemies. Yeah. Let me give you space. No, it's fine. I'm going down. Oh, nice. Hardly to be stationed here. Yeah, so just have to be stationed in each and every corner of the building, on this structure, so that they can be able to see enemies approaching from it's all directions. Direction, all, all direction. So, Malika, hmm? this is the captain's house. Philip, uh, captain, this is where he used to sleep, stay, and put all his belongings. Mm. Yeah, and then it you can see there is nothing that is there, is, there isn't any roof. Yeah. Because this was made of mangrove. And uh, it collapsed. And mangrove or ama. ama nini? Yeah, the makuti. The makuti, yeah. yeah. This was so dangerous, man. Like, so now this is the passage of the arches. <laughs> passage of the arches. You see how deep it is. Yeah. Wow. It's so far, guys. And now here you it looks like a movie. <laughs> now here you can be able to see how many cannons and fireballs you can find in this place. So there are many fireballs around? There it? are 63 cannons found inside and outside the fort. They are of different types and origin. Fort Jesus for you. Bathrooms, soldier bathrooms. It's an offense punishable by law to deface the walls. Okay, we already read that. So I think they could shower from here and the water would go right back into the ocean so this is how they used to look like the bathrooms i don't know they can't be opened but can we see what's inside tell me if you see something guys okay there's nothing inside sort of shop and San Matthew's Bastion. So this is an empty hole. Malika, hmm? you know these commissions? I have so many of these, by yeah. the way. And this one was used as a means of trade during that time. And they are still trading it right now for money. For money. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> banange. Hey, banange. <laughs> Look at all these pigeons. <laughs> Looks like you love this doors, eh? Are you a door person? Up and you happy? That's one that was a kitchen. Oh, this was a kitchen. Oh, nice. Oh, we have paintings for sale, guys. Yeah. If you want, you can buy. They have a number. In the Portuguese kitchen. The, in the Portuguese kitchen. Oh, this used to be a uh, the kitchen. chimney. Nice. This is how the kitchen used to look like, guys. There's another chimney, yeah? There's another yeah, chimney. Nice. And a tiny one. Yeah, it looks like this one was a grill.
I don't know what the channel is for guys but eh, it must have its own meaning this one Jesus. So this is the outside part and this is the Masri Hall. So let's see what the Masri Hall so this, this has. Is the Masri Hall. Mm. And uh, this is where they used to gather when they are having a meeting. Mm. Yeah, you can see. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah. I don't know if this is from way back or they just placed this item. Yeah. yeah, the Mazurua yeah. Arabic, right? Yeah. So you can see the Mazuri manuscripts on the wall. Mm. Then this is where by after the British came in full force. Mm. And they countered the Omans when they were here. Mm -hmm. So this is the exact location whereby the Omans surrendered the whole of this port, port, port to the British. Mm -hmm. And this is where they were seated. seated. Oh. So you can see here. So this is this is a picture to depict how they were seated on this same hall. Location when the Omans were surrendering this whole fort to the British. Mm. After the British came in full force, they also had very little weapons and they were very powerful. Mm -hmm. So the Omans could not be able to sustain the counter attack of the British. Mm. Here we have a wooden gun. Wow, wooden never gun. seen a wooden gun. Wooden gun. So they have written in Swahili Baraza and also in an official traditional meeting usually held by the ruler in the world court. So this is a book whereby you can just write your thoughts. About Arabs? No, about, about the fort. About the fort. So if you wanna write write your name here. Malika does it, was here and then what do you think about it? What are your remarks? Visitor's name, and then you write whatever you your thoughts. Your thoughts are all right. I don't think I have any thoughts. My thoughts will be in the video. Yeah. <laughs> British canons. And uh, we have some information here. So this is how the canons were fired. can see cross section of the gun deck so this is how they used to transport these cannons when they are taking them to a specific location this is the 1677 this is a Kenyan diver and they were retract, uh, retracting the, the remains of a ship British ship that uh, sunk in 16 so, 19, yes. so these are some of the remains that were found after the Kenyan divers retracted them to the So here you are to find different artifacts from different communities. Uh, this one is a what? A seventh century chair. This one here, a seventeenth century chair made in India, used by fishermen and also local people to navigate and also during the 
the Indians by Shastra, they are coming to Sapphire Kali. This is one of the best museums in the country, by the way. Yeah, like well maintained. Yeah. So these are the police Of course, apart from the Nairobi Museum. I know how to play this one. This one is Uganda, right? Yeah, we have that different African communities have. Uh, okay, is that Kayamba, Kalimba? Yeah, it's Kalimba. This actually is this a door. A, a door, tower. So this one was used for, for turning? Yeah, for navigation. Like this one? Yeah, like that, like, like, like this, like that. It is like the steering, this one. We want to go to Burundi. Yeah. And they say, please don't touch, and yeah. all of us are touching. No, 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 no. <laughs> These ones, they look like the Chinese paintings, the Chinese whatever paintings. Ceramics. Ceramics. And then we have a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them. Is that Jesus? No, this mm -hmm. one is a Baruch. With his uh, their traditional attires. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so I have been behind the camera all this time because I wanted you guys to see the whole tour about this place. Fort Jesus and Samuel has been the man behind showing us everything in here so Samuel is here yeah what's up guys this is Samuel travel and history and I'm um, honored to meet Malika does it finally uh, finally we have met in person but uh, it seems like we know each other yeah, actually it doesn't feel like meeting a new person. I feel like we've met before, probably because we've done live streams, yeah. you know, seeing each other, each other's videos. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, the tour about the Fort Jesus. And uh, if you loved it, please like, like the video, comment. Leave a comment. And share. And also check out my YouTube channel. Samuel travel and history mm -hmm. yeah I'm um, I always focus on history vlogs and uh, cultural things so you just go comment subscribe and yeah. we'll see you yes also if you want to visit Mombasa or any other place sorry in the country you can use him because he seems to have a lot of knowledge about places like this you know so reach him out on Instagram follow him on YouTube. on YouTube subscribe to his channel let's get him the wash time hours that he needs why am I not in the outro <laughs> <laughs> I was getting to you <laughs> so, yeah. I've been waiting waiting <laughs> yeah here is the eh? man. Bananga from Uganda, from Uganda. Uh -huh. yeah, man. the man of Himuselofu. <laughs> you guys call our president Himuselofu. <laughs> Imagine. You know about it? I know. Himuselofu. Himuselofu. Why? Yeah, How did it come it about? It even became a, a like, national slang. Yeah, something like a Re slang. Whenever someone talks about Uganda, they bring in Himuselofu. Himuselofu. Yeah, anyway, this is. Uh -uh, how did it come about? I don't know. I don't know from the news or something. The thing is, mm. uh, there is a time he was uh, delivering a speech. Okay. And then, <laughs> other than <laughs> <I'm not laughs> it reached to a point whereby he said, other than said himself, okay. he said, I talked with him, uh, with himself, something <laughs> of the sort. So it, everyone picked that one and it went crazy. Why do you focus on crazy. the negative? No, 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 that's we not a negative. So that's like if you want to talk about Uganda. Mm. Oh, do you know him? <laughs> so I anyway. come to know about that when I'm in Kenya. Himuselefu. <laughs> anyway, um, so we've been taking a tour together with Lawrence. It was amazing, guys. Very, very amazing. Yeah, so it's actually we've been here for more than two hours, right? Yeah. And right now it's time to move to a different location. It's al it's around 5 p.m. Yeah. And we also need to go back to where we've come from, you very, know? Very, very far. Yes, and that's like three hours away, maybe four. 
because the road is under construction and then definitely there is traffic in town so let's see how it goes anyway check out UG Connect Lawrence guys you, for those who you. are from Kenya or any other part of the world that you don't know about UG Connect yes. but I'm sure most of you know him yes. subscribe to his channel follow him on Instagram same uh, same name UG Connect yeah. mm -hmm. thank you so much thank you and, I, was, uh, I was going to report you to him <laughs> <laughs> Also follow Sam yeah, follow on his me. YouTube channel Samuel Tra History and Travel. Yes. And you, uh, IG, you are called? Semi Sam uh. or Sami G I T two. Sami G I T two. Yes. Okay, so we are going to leave all that information here, and right now we go to our next destination, which yeah, I don't you know. Show the people. I think maybe they can be able to see. That is my IG. Okay, yeah. that is Instagram. So follow him, follow him, and guys, let's support each other. It's the best way to grow, okay? So see you on the next episode. On the next episode. Mwah. Vibes from Mombasa.